Hi friends, I'm Andrea Lake and I have a new process video for you using the brand new Acorn Lane collection by Simple Stories and I am creating a layout. So first of all, I want to apologize because half of the process of how the background of the page came together was not recorded, but I still, I decided that I still wanted to share the rest of the process. It's a very short video, it's a very simple page it but was, you know, it was a really fun one to put together, a layout that I made just for fun. So here it is. So what I did, the white paper is a piece of white color by cardstock. And then I have two strips of the pink polka dot paper and the yellow one. And I, I adhere it at the top and the bottom. And then I have a quarter of an inch by 12 inches piece of the brown color by cardstock that I attach at the both top and bottom edges of the white piece of cardstock. Now I am using one of the cheaper frames to frame my photo for the album. I'm adding some foam adhesive to get some dimension to this layout and I'm going to create two clusters one at the bottom right of that frame and one at the top left. And I'm gonna be using different elements. I'm gonna be playing with different elements. This is a piece of the journal bits that I'm gonna to use to add my journaling. And now I'm adding some of the floral details with some of the journal bits chipboard stickers. I am also using some or adding some cardstock sticker leaves all to create some dimension and interest to the page and I'm using the forever thankful title from the page pieces for the title of the layout that's going to be also at the top left of that frame and this photo is from one of the first road trips or day trip day trip, day hikes that we took in Colorado when we first moved. So I do not remember exactly where it was. I need to I need to go and check um, all of the details, but we drove around two and a half hours and completed a hike for about another two hours. Really nice. The, the weather was perfect. Everything everything the views were absolutely amazing so we had and it was just the two of us so we had a wonderful wonderful time so I'm completing I'm almost done with that cluster on the left side on the top left corner And this, guys, this is one of my favorite products that Simple Stories it came out with this year, the Robins. So I, you can see that I had already used some. It, that will be, I'll show you how I used them on, I think that's also, I recorded the entire process for that. That will be one of my design team projects for September. So I'll share that later on. But you can see how easy it is and the details that add, that get added to the page. So much fun, again, to, to use, to play with. Definitely one of my favorite products from 2023 from Simple Stories. And most of their collections are coming out with Robins now, which I definitely love. Right, we are almost done. Putting those back adding one more piece from the journal bits to add the date and in my journaling i have you can see a three enamel dots at the bottom right and top left adding the date and then the last 
the last thing that I'm doing for this page is I am adding glossy accents <laughs> on top of each one of the dots from both the top strip and the bottom strip of paper. So this was fun. It didn't take too long and it ended up adding some additional, you know, dimension and texture and interest to the page. So this is it, guys. I hope you enjoy the process. I, process, I was really, really inspired by my friend, a design team member and personal friend, Gloria Parra, who has been, who opened her YouTube channel and has been sharing her process on multiple projects. So I decided to record myself, record the process of putting together this page and share it with you. I also wanted to be ready for the moment that this collection was announced so I could show you what I spent a few minutes of my weekend working on. Please let me know if you have any questions. My name is Andrea Lake again, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.